Hello everybody and welcome to Papers, Please, where we're going to be the best immigration officer ever, which sounds really boring, but it's not because there will be adventures and there will be drugs probably and probably some nudity. So I mean, if you like drugs and getting naked, you might like this. <laughs> And if that made no sense to you whatsoever and you have no idea what we're actually going to be playing, in Papers, Please, what you have to do is man a checkpoint in some country that I'm um, somewhere. And you have to make sure that people have the right documents coming into the country and that they don't have any drugs. And uh, yeah, like I said, drugs and nudity. If you don't want to stay for drugs and nudity, there's something wrong with you. Drugs are bad, okay? I'm just kidding. No one likes drugs. But nudity, nudity is okay. <laughs> So besides doing our job at the border of accepting and denying people, we also have to manage our expenses, paying for rent, food, heat, medicine when people get sick, stuff like that. So as you can see, we're not very rich in this country, which is why this job is actually kind of good. And uh, yeah, hopefully we don't die or kill our family and we can actually be productive in this crap hole of a country that we live in. November 24th, 1982. What do we have to do today? Foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your boost inspection horror is now installed. Check all information for discrepancies. Hello, you look weird. I think you have everything that you need. Right? Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, oh, I will see you later. I will see you ladies later. Although you don't look that attractive, but who am I to say that that's an issue? Who says I have standards? I have no standards. <laughs> I like your hair, sir. I like your hair. Wait, what? What? We have a runner! Oh crap! He's gonna get shot! We... I can't do anything. I can just sit here in my little booth. Oh, he's throwing a bomb?! Oh crap. Oh crap. That's probably not good. Why is this border so dramatic? The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Well... That sucks. I can't afford heat, either. We don't need heat, right? Do we need food? We probably don't need food. No, we don't need food. We're good. What are our rules for today? Entry for non-citizens is not regulated or all foreigners require a valid entry ticket and a passport. Okay. Hey there. I can make you happy anytime. Another one? Hmm. Is there any way that I can, like, go to this place? I want to go to this place. I want to go and have a good time. I believe that you can make me a very happy man. Although I have a wife and a child. Actually, no, I take that back. I don't want you to make me happy. I'm perfectly happy with my wife and my child. I don't need you guys to make me happy. I don't require prostitutes. Here, go, go away. I heard about terrorist attack. You were lucky to have a job still. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm like, I wasn't my fault. He hopped over the freaking gate. I mean, I'm more happy that I'm alive. He just hopped over. What did you want me to do about that? I can't do anything about a guy hopping over. I just look at the paperwork. I'm not here to like kill people and stuff. Oh, look, this is out of date. This is out of date. You trying to, yeah, you, you're, you're, you're trying to pull a fast one on me, my friend. Oh, you don't know what to say? Well, guess what? Denied. Get out of here. Take your ticket. Get out of here. <laughs> That's so satisfying. It's so satisfying to just throw their tickets and passports back at them. I'm a horrible person. This is the greatest country. Bro, bro. You have to actually give me... You have to give me a passport. Where's your passport? Passport not required. No, a passport is definitely required. Okay, good job, good job, good good job. Go get a passport, come back, we'll be all good. Don't even worry about it. Yes, you look equally as fat in your picture as you do today. This is good, 83, good job. I shall let you through, right? What the, invalid gender? Did it say female? 
Did it say female on the password? Did it say female? Oh my god, I suck. I would be the worst border patrol person ever. Or immigration, whatever they're called. I don't know, they're, they're, they're called something like that. Expiration is good, you are a female. Are you an actual woman? You know what, let's check because you never know with these people. Are you a woman? Okay, good job, you're a woman. Nice to know that I can trust some people's gender in this world. You won't believe the problems that I've had with gender today, guys. You won't, you won't even believe it. My son is sick and needs medicine. Well, why are you sick? Cold, sick, and hungry. Cold and hungry, cold and hungry. Everyone's unhappy. Apparently, I'm not looking after my family well at all. I'm not looking after my family. I have failed as a man and therefore as a human. What do we have to do now? Stricter credential requirements have been in student, student must show an ID card. Foreigners must secure and present a valid entry permit. Entry tickets are no longer sufficient. Yeah, 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 yeah. You require an entry permit. You don't need a ticket. You're not allowed a ticket, dude. Rules change. You gotta check these things before you travel. Now you know. Now you are an informed traveler. Don't you curse at me! I know it sucks, but you should check these things before you come to our very unstable country that changes their rules about immigration on a daily basis. I, it will be for one year. What? But he said three months. What? He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. But you just lied to me. You just lied to me. I'm sorry, but you didn't. I don't know how to prove it or tell you that you lied to me, but you lied to me. What's the purpose of your trip? Visit my son. I've not seen him in six years. Six months. Okay. Uh, this is out of date, I'm afraid. So, I'm sorry, but your son is going to have to wait another six years. I'm sorry, I can't go for little sob stories. What kind of immigration official would I be if I did that? I'm sorry, you could be lying. I don't know. I don't know you. I mean, if this was me, I'd probably just let you all through because immigration is a bitch. Okay, this is good. Okay, good, good job, good job. Expiration date is good. Passport number. Wait, your name is different. What is this? You're trying to pull the wool over my eyes. The names do not match. Your name has changed recently. Well, here, I need your fingerprints. Because I can't trust that. Let's see, shall we? Matching data. They match, apparently. I don't see- I don't know what to do in this situation because the- The names- she doesn't have any other names known to us. Well, they actually don't match, so I think I'm gonna have to decline, right? I think I'm gonna have to decline because... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, your name- we d your names are not known to us. We have to know your name. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's him again! Hi! Now I have a passport. Our is still best country- What? <laughs> what is this? Pre-approved stamp here. Georgie! Georgie, what is- what is this? What- what is this? This passport is a crude fake. It's pre-approved. <laughs> Georgie is a boss. I'm I'm sorry, Georgie. I am a, I am a, you know, like passport. I understand. I come back with a better one. Yeah, yeah. You should come with one that you didn't just draw with crayons, Georgie. That's not how you can fool the government. Everything looks great. I'm glad to have an approval for the end of the day. Here you go, ma'am. Don't go bomb us, please. I don't want to be bombed. Okay, thank you. Good job. My rent has gone up? Why? We can go without food for a day probably, right? Yeah, we can go without food for a day. We don't- we don't need food every single day. That is a luxury that we can simply not afford.